This is the crawl space under my house. I'm Fear, and this is Fear the Reefer. So anytime you're talking about putting a literal ton on your floor, you need to make sure you can actually withstand the weight. I've consulted with an engineer to make sure that my floor is structurally sound and can withstand the full weight of the 220 gallon aquarium. When you factor in the rocks, the water, which is eight pounds per gallon, 220-ish gallons, the weight of the actual tank itself, and the stand, you're probably around 2,500 pounds. That's a lot of weight. Gotta make sure it doesn't fall through the floor. And you also wanna make sure that your floor is strong enough to withstand regular household use, parties, friends, in addition to the full load of the 220 gallon aquarium. I'm putting the aquarium up against the load bearing wall, which is a good place to start. However, I still need to reinforce the joists that currently exist. The engineer said that we needed to reinforce the floor by using sister joists. On top of that, we're also gonna reinforce the vertical posts to withstand the extra load. I actually started doing the work before I had the idea to start this build channel. So most of the work is already done. As you can see, these are the sister joists. I also have to marry these sister joists together so that they all engage at the same time and hold all the weight. For that, I'm gonna be using these heavy gauge 3 8 inch by six inch lag screws. Now I like to really overbuild everything. So when I spoke to the engineer after this design was complete, and I said, okay, so we're good for like 2,500, 3,000 pounds. He's like, yes. And then the words that I hate to hear, you should be good. I hate should, I like definitely. So I said, okay, if I wanted to park a truck down here, what would I have to do? And he said, well, an easy thing to do is just to get a cinder block and a floor jack and reinforce underneath the floor. I said, okay, great, I'm gonna do that. In fact, I'm gonna do two of them. So I got two of these floor jacks. They each hold about 18,000 pounds and I'm going to properly support two feet in from each side of the aquarium underneath the sister joists that I've already installed. So that's it. A lot of work and planning goes into having a big aquarium in your home, but I think it's worth it in the long run. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos just like this and follow me on the whole build of the Waterbox 220.6.